Hey traders from all around the world, it's Ricky Cadden here from Real Life Trading Australia. I hope you guys have started 2022 off on a green note. Now this is a pretty special stock review as I am sharing with you a long-term trade that we took in the swing trading floor and uh, it is a zero cost upfront trade. That's right, zero cost. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to learn more about this strategy, I'll show you exactly where you can learn all about it in this video. So make sure you stick around to the very end. You rock. I'll see you soon. Traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy, Ricky Cadden, back again with another free Friday stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys are doing absolutely sensational. Let's talk about the market. You really do want to listen to this entire stock review as I am going to talk about a secret strategy that I have created and uh, that we are currently using on a stock. But more about that later, guys. Let's dive in and take a look at what's going on in the broader markets. Now, the SPY, guys, you can see we have had a bit of a fall. Now, we did get this nice little triple top. We broke down below this level. You know, we came back down. We retested. We've been talking about this in the stock trading room as well. And uh, right now, we're currently creating a little bit of a double top. Now, we're coming up to the 50-day EMA. Also, if you take a look at the longer-term moving averages, it's the 100 simple moving average. Now, guys, we did get a little bit of a sell-off yesterday. Fantastic gap down. Uh, as you can see here, lots of volume. And uh, I do expect this to continue tonight. So if you are looking for a bearish day trade, uh, I do believe that tonight is going to be a very, very sensational time to be looking uh, for a bearish day trade. So keep your eyes peeled on that one. Now the E-minis guys, you can see we are currently getting a fantastic little double top. Um, hasn't broke below the neckline yet, um, but I do believe that this is going to happen. Um, you know, the price action that has been occurring right here at this neckline of this triple, at this neckline of the triple top, um, it's just definitely, most definitely going to push lower at this stage. Um, but definitely guys, just keep your eyes out uh, for a bearish day trade tonight on uh, on a lot of stocks out there. We'll talk about these ones very shortly. Snapchat, here we go. Now Snapchat actually did get a gap down which faded after their massive earnings play that they did have. We did get a, a fantastic gap and go, which was a gorgeous play for the day. A lot of volume. And uh, you can see there wasn't really too much momentum behind it. We really have started to drop off in volume. Also, shorter term moving averages, we're coming straight to the 50 day EMA guys. And uh, as you can see here, yesterday we in fact, we opened lower than we then we closed, uh, so we gapped down, we faded, but we rejected this level again. So what I do expect, guys, if we take out this bullish candle that we had uh, yesterday and or uh, the day before, I do expect us to possibly even fill this major gap that we did create over earnings. So just keep an eye out on that one, especially if we do start to see a real nice steep fall in the markets. Now, guys, here is Amazon. Amazon creating somewhat of an evening star reversal pattern. They did have a fantastic gap up over earnings. They did trade up over 20% in a week. Now, you can see we are currently getting somewhat of an evening star reversal pattern at the 50-day EMA. Longer term moving averages, we are below them. Now, if we get a gap down uh, based on these, based on the price action that's been happening, guys, you can see we did get a little bit of selling. This uh, little hangman candle is definitely looking bearish, right? This is not a very strong candlestick pattern. You can see it's an inverted hammer. Sorry, not a hanging man, inverted hammer. And a uh, lot of selling pressure, as you can see here. And we did come back up, retest the highs. And then uh, most likely, we could see a nice little fall, especially if we start to gap down. Because we will come into a major support level at around 31.24 or 31.30. And then from there, guys, I just expect us to probably push down a little bit lower, potentially even fill this gap as well. So just keep your eyes peeled on that one if we do start to see a fall in the markets. Now guys, this is the strategy that I'm going to be sharing with you um, that we have actually done on Pinterest in the trading floor. Now, 
we did get into what I like to call here at Real Life Trading is the Cadden Cannon. Now what this is on a technical terms or constructive terms with options, it is a diagonal synthetic long stock split strike. I know that's a lot to handle, bit of a tongue twister, but what it is guys is we're selling to open a put sale, right? going to sell to open a put to purchase the shares at a future date. Notice that we are looking to purchase in 2024, right? This was paying us $6 per contract. Um, and we were looking to buy a contract for 2023. So we're giving this, we're giving this trade a very long time, but notice the difference in the trade uh, is $2 in credit. So this trade is actually costing no money up front. How amazing is that? Absolutely insane. It's a very super long position, right? If you want to go long on a stock, this is just one way to really leverage yourself. Um, obviously, there are margin requirements when it comes to selling puts. Just keep that in mind. Um, you know, this is a level that I'm happy to own shares of Pinterest at anyway, especially in two years time in 2024. So just keep that in mind, guys. We are looking for a very nice, super long play on Pinterest at a very low level. And uh, if this thing does start to rocket higher, we will then be able to close out the put sale and uh, let's just keep riding the call option higher, right? And then make that money. So if you guys would love to learn more about this strategy, I really do urge you guys to go to reallifetrading.com.au, go to our online courses and click on the Trader Summit. This is where we dive right in and talk about a whole bunch of strategies. Um, there are a lot of other presenters here as well, um, but this is the strategy here. Stop capping your gains, a synthetic long secrets. This is a particular strategy that you will not learn anywhere else on the internet. I guarantee you that. Um, so definitely go and check it out. Um, this, this strategy is something that I have created myself and it is um, all my clients most favorite and most profitable strategy. In this particular webinar or seminar that I pr presented at, I do talk about when this does work. And um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy it. And of course, there are a lot of other strategies that you will learn. And guys, the best part about this is it's only 14 Australian dollars. That's right, 14 Australian dollars. That's less than a lunch, right? And this will be something that will potentially make you, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the future. So keep that in mind, guys, go and check it out. Go and purchase this. Go and learn about uh, the Cat and Cannon. And uh, I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys uh, if, if you have ended up using this. So let me know what you think in the comments section below about this particular strategy. If you guys need anything for me to clarify about this strategy, reach out to me. My email is ricky at reallifetrading.com. Moving forward, here is the Aussie 200. Now the Aussie 200 comes straight back to the longer term moving averages and a very nice little one black crow uh, that is currently forming. You can see we are, we did get a really nice price rise from this low here, guys. We came up about almost 9%. It's a pretty big move, so I really do expect us to start to pull back. We all know the stock doesn't just rise higher in a straight line, guys. I expect a nice little retest, guys. It's just the way the market moves. So just keep an eye out for that, guys. Be bearish at this point. Not bearish long term, but definitely uh, for the short term, look to protect your assets on the downside if need be. Now, here's Commonwealth Bank ticket symbol CBA, also coming back into the longer term moving averages. We did get an evening star-esque pattern after a fantastic retest gap over earnings. Uh, I do expect this gap to fill, guys. Uh, you can see here, if we start to take out this low, uh, there will definitely be a nice little tumble and uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Come back. It is starting to form a very nice support at 93 as we are currently in a distribution phase. Now guys, we have already had a public participation phase, 
you know, for the last year, uh, for the last couple of years. Now the stock is just currently having a rest and distributing. And uh, I do expect us to be here for quite some time. The company is still making money. I do expect uh, I do expect them to, you know, obviously keep bringing on strong earnings. We could see a fall. Uh, I wouldn't be bearish on CBA unless we actually start to break these lows. But if you are looking at picking up some shares or two, then uh, this would be a fantastic level to possibly be considering buying a few shares of CBA as it was a previous level of support for quite some time. Now, Newcrest Mining also talking about low levels. We have now reached another support level. We've been here for a while. The weekly chart also has a very strong level here at 2134 um, on the weekly chart. Sorry here. 2134, we are below the longer term moving averages on a weekly chart. Uh, as gold does start to rise, we will see a little bit of sideways action for some time. Um, but if you are looking to just buy low, sell high, do some short term swing trading, uh, we are in a fantastic little channel here. Currently in a bit of a downtrend, but you know, if you could buy low, you know, buy at 22, sell at 25, wait for it to pull back, uh, you guys get the point. It is a very low level at this current moment in time. So look at Newcrest, especially if gold does start to take off and go higher. Now here is Endeavor Group, ticker symbol EDV. Now obviously after their split with Woolworths, uh, they did get a nice little price rise and they just kind of consolidated. They had the nice little public participation distribution phase. We ended up creating a triple top, right? And then we started to create these lower highs. Now this was a pretty good signal to start to go bearish. Their earnings is currently coming up very, very soon, guys. Short-term moving averages, very bearish, right? So I do expect us to possibly even gap down, uh, gap down and continue, continue this bearish trend and continue lower. Uh, so keep an eye out on Endeavor going lower. If they are going to bounce, guys, um, I don't. That I guess they would possibly bounce at around six dollars, being a previous IPO level or you know split level. Uh, but this there really is not that much support as we did break that support on Endeavor. So just keep that in mind, guys. We are in a very bearish trend on Endeavor. Now, crude oil. If you guys have been watching my stock reviews, you would have remembered me saying that crude oil is going to 92 and then we'll pull back to the 10 EMA. Now, guys, we've done this. I've been speaking about this since, you know, back in the 80s. If you had a bought one contract and held it from 82 to 92, there's 10 grand, right? So I do I do hope that, you know, you got a small piece of the pie at, at, at the very least. Um, but we did come to 92. This is where I said that we'll most likely trade sideways and or start to retrace. Uh, if you did swing some contracts, then well done. Uh, but crude oil right now pulling back, I do expect us to probably break down this low and then come back down and retest 85 at some point. Oh, what happened there? Um, crude oil. Sweet. Now gold. So gold, guys, we did get a bit of a we did get a bit of a gap down. Uh, we did get a bit of a gap down today. And uh, we are still above the shorter term moving averages, but we are currently holding. We did come back to a resistance at 1835, which has been a very strong resistance. We have broken above it a couple of times, but we can never retest and go higher, right? We are, however, creating higher lows, which is fantastic to see. We are in a bullish trend or a, a, at least bullish sideways to bullish. But if you're looking at going ultra bullish guys, you really need to break out and wait for the retest and hold this with support and with volume. So just keep an eye out for gold to move higher. And last but not least is the Aussie dollar guys. I have been mentioning this is in a bearish trend and to look for price rejection at the 50 EMA. We did get a nice little double top here, which broke down, retested, came back up, and now is retesting the short, uh, sorry, we had the short term retest, now we're having the longer term retest, and we'll probably uh, start to break down that little bit further. That's enough for me, guys. I'll be back next week with another stock review just for you guys. And if you guys want more information about the Cat and Cannon or the Diagonal Synthetic Split Strike Long Stock, let me know. I'll leave my email in this description below, but definitely head to our website, 
buy the Traders Summit. It's only $14, and uh, I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised, and it will be extreme content that you will be super happy that you have purchased. And uh, I hope it makes you a lot of money in the future, as it has made myself and my clients a lot of money already. So you guys are welcome. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And until next time, love life. Live life and trade it. You guys rock.